Hello, this is Sherry with Full Armor of God, and I want to get right to it today because there's three scriptures that I want to go over first before I give the message I received yesterday, February 11th, 2021, from God. Okay, the first scripture is Genesis 2, 15 through 17 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads... And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the many, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt shalt surely die and the meaning derived from this scripture is a forewarning of becoming exiled from paradise uh, in the Garden of Eden for, for Adam and Eve. And we know how that all turned out. So um, that's the first scripture. And the second scripture is Exodus 19. Chapter 19, verses 1 through 6. And this this one I took from the New International Version of the Bible. Okay, this one starts off, it says, On the first day of the third month after the Israelites left Egypt, on that day, excuse me, on... That very day they came to the desert of Sinai. After they set out from Rephidian, they entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel camped there in the desert in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to tell the people of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. There are excuse me, these are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. Okay, so the meaning, this is um, after Moses led his people out of Egypt, God, you know, parted the Red Sea. Okay, so the meaning that I took from this and I looked up a couple different ones and kind of, uh, you know, kind of made it a little bit more condensed because there was a lot, you know, many different um, versions of it. But from the gist of it, I got, it said, um, before God called Israel to keep his law, which was the Ten Commandments, he commanded them to keep his covenant which involved the choice to obey and be blessed or to disobey and be cursed. Okay, so that was the, the more condensed version of meanings that I was looking through and came up with. Okay, so that was the second scripture. And for the last scripture, it's um, the second book of Chronicles, chapter 7, verses 13 through 15. And it reads, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour, 
the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Okay, this scripture is when King Solomon built the temple to God and it was a temple meant for sacrifice and worship. And the meaning that I believe is taken away from this scripture is that if ever um, God, if there's a, a drought, like if he shuts off the supply of rain from the skies or orders locusts to eat, eat the crops or send a plague in, in on to his people, my people and my people will respond by humbling themselves in response to these, you know, strugg struggles and trials that they're going through. Instead of cursing God, that they humble themselves to God by praying and seeking his presence and turning their backs on their wicked lives, then God will be there for his people. He will listen from heaven and forgive their sins and restore their land to health. Okay, so which means he will renew them. That's what I took from this Bible scripture. Okay, so those are the three scriptures. And I'm, I apologize, they're a little bit lengthy today. Now I want to get right into the message that I was given last evening after prayer. Okay, this message excuse me here okay the message reads seasons come and seasons go each day has a season to change do not dwell on the disaster at hand but make time for me in your secret place I will restore and renew your mind. Walk with me in the garden amongst the wildflowers. The flowers bud in the spring and die in the winter. But while they are at the peak of blooming, they renew and restore their beauty. This is how I want you to look at your life, my daughter. Everything has a purpose in its own season. Once the purpose is fulfilled, then it is time for the season to change. As you endure your trials, think of them as times for growth and learning, lessons of the Holy Spirit of God. If everything was bountiful and the flowers were always blooming, then there would be no reason for them to change because the world would be perfect, just like the Garden of Eden. But the enemy had to foil God's perfect design and tempt Eve with the apple. She and Adam were in paradise not realizing how good they had it until it was taken away and they soon found they were both naked. The moral of the story is not to take the blessings for granted once they've been received. Praise me, the Lord your God, and worship my name, Yahweh. Always remember who poured these blessings upon you and never take them for granted? Tell my sheep to be thankful for what they have. And once the breakthrough, the breakthroughs are provided, then give 
all praise and glory to God the Father. Stay obedient in my name and tell my flock to stay on the narrow path. God the Father. Okay, so in essence, what I believe is to be taken away from this is pretty much, you know, be thankful for what you have. First of all, if you're going through struggles and trials, there's a reason behind it. It's so that you can become closer to the Lord God and learn whatever the, the lesson it is he wants you to learn. And then the season will change and you will be blessed from God because you learned your lesson. Okay, so that's it for today. And if you have any comments or questions or you want me to pray for anyone, if you can put it down in the comments section of this video, that would be great. And thank you and have a wonderful day.